Welcome to Flash CS6 Tutorial 26 Submarine Game. When you finish this tutorial, you'll have a game something like this. As long as I press the button, the submarine goes up. When I leave it go, it drops down. If it hits, if any of these torpedoes hit the submarine, the game stops and this says this is your score. I'll show you once more. Try not to hit anything. There, my score is going up because I'm not hitting anything. I'm just counting time. There, I hit that. Game's over. Your score is 13. We're going to start by making a new FL8. I'm keeping the 550 400 for my stage size. Selecting Action Script 3 and pressing OK. call this layer sub uh, this is going to be made for people new to flash meaning I'll go into a fair amount of detail uh, let's click on this stage open that properties panel and here click this stage and I want sort of a bluish color something that would be my my ocean there it is that's going to be my ocean for my submarine Now we got to draw a submarine. Click on this, what's called the rectangle tool. If you see a circle in here, you got the oval tool. If not, click here on the corner, and I want oval tool. And open the properties panel. Make sure your stroke is one, right here. Click this here, uh, and make sure this stays black. And click this, and I want a grayish color for my submarine. Make a submarine. Start off by making an oval. I'm not going to get too fancy here. There it is. There's my submarine. Um, then going to pick up the rectangle tool. Click here again. Get rectangle tool. Uh, click on the rectangles tool. Open the properties panel. And you see this line here? Make that be around 11 that'll give us some rounded corners on our rectangle again make sure I have black stroke and a grayish color for my fill now make a little rectangle there it is see how it has those rounded corners I'm gonna make my stage a little bigger so I can see this put up my selection tool and I'm gonna cut off here delete that now I'm gonna highlight that and bring it down Move it up to the front a little bit. This is my submarine. There it is. I'm happy with that. And submarines have things up here. I don't know what they are, but we're going to make some. There's one. Let's make a couple of these things. There's two. Put up selection tool. Grab this one. Cut the bottom off it like that. Highlight it, bring it down. This one's okay, small enough, just drag this down. Now, if you get your selection tool and grab the end of that, you might be able to join that like that if you have a problem there. Go in here, pick up the oval tool again, come down here, click that, and I want a darker gray. I'm going with that color there and holding my shift down I'm making a couple of circles these are my portholes in my submarine and I'm just going to give it a little bit of shape clicking on here and bringing that up that's my submarine uh, let's put a little propeller on the back of it. Again, pick up your rectangle tool. Go back to that lighter gray. Now, if you're not sure where it is, you can click here. And you've got this eyedropper. Go up here and click there to pick up that lighter gray. Now, let's make a square like this. And one like that. 
if I pick up my selection tool and click here twice I can then use my arrow key and put that where I want it click on twice on that one bring it down and now I want to click on it all click 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 hold the shift down click 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 and now I've got the whole thing get that get that cross here's thing and move my propeller to there that's going to be my submarine pick up selection tool highlight the whole thing make sure you get everything highlighted right click on it come down convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected click that little center square here and call this sub as in submarine sub underscore mc copy that name right click copy it okay it's if you haven't got this blue line around it make sure you highlight it like this get this blue line and go into the properties panel and paste it in there's my submarine double click on it and now you can see it says here we're inside the movie clip called submarine again pick up this oval tool click in here I want uh, a dark blue for my stroke this time and I want uh, my no fill so click here and on this right this white square with a line to it gives me no fill and just make a couple bubbles here hold your shift down bubbles 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 uh, let's make them white inside let's click on this pick up a white pick up the fill bucket and click inside of them that is my submarine go back to the selection tool back to scene one go back to 100 percent and I'm sure you're going to make a better submarine than what I did but that's that's what I have lock this submarine layer right here click it it puts a padlock in it come down here insert a new layer call it AS as an action script and click here to open the actions panel if you don't have the actions panel here go under window and find actions and click on it and your action panel will open up like this now the easiest way for me is to pre-type this and paste it in then we'll go we'll get you to type it in and as I'm I'll go through it and explain to you what it what it means so type 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 all kinds of typing type 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 you're going to type 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 we're going to start off by making what's called a variable a variable is just a word we're going to use to keep track of something so VAR turns purple I'm calling it mouse clicked capital M capital C equals false F A L S E small f that turns blue semicolon that's a variable we're going to use we're going to make an event listener stage period add event listener small s small a capital E capital L that will all turn blue there's no spaces in here it'll turn blue open bracket mouse event capital M capital E that turns blue period and this is all capitals M O U S E is all capitals underscore down is all capitals that also turns blue comma and I'm calling this clicked C L I C K E D capital C you can write any word you want in here as long as it doesn't change colors there's a close bracket that works with this open bracket and there's a semicolon this is going to call up this function here function f u n c t i o n turns purple small f you can copy this word clicked and paste it in here open bracket you can almost put anything you want here I'm just putting the N colon mouse event capital M capital E that mouse event turns blue close bracket now here's the open curly bracket for this function and as you start to type this in this closed curly bracket will come if not put it in so open curly bracket go up here and copy this this variable we may, we may call most clicked 
paste it in, equals true, small t, turns blue, semicolon. So when I click the mouse, this word will turn true, and down here when I leave the mouse go, this word will be false. Now, copy this. Click here, put a couple enters, paste it in. Change the word down to up, and change the word clicked to unclicked with a capital U. Come down here, change the word click to unclick, capital U. Everything else stays the same, except down here where it says most clicked equals true, make it most clicked equals false. With a small f, false turns blue, semicolon. So all this is going to do is, each, if I press the most, I'm going to make this word true. If I don't click the most, it's going to be false. And that's just going to allow us to move my our submarine up and down. We're going to make another event listener. Add event listener. Small a, capital E, capital L, turns blue. Open bracket. Event, capital E, period. This is all capitals. Capital E-N-T-E-R, all capitals, underscore frame. F-R-A-M-E, all capitals. That turns blue. Comma, and I'm calling this gravity. This is what pulls the submarine down when we're not clicking the button. Capital G as in gravity. Close bracket, semicolon. Now we're going to call that function up again. F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N. -C Copy the word gravity. Paste it in. Open bracket, E, colon, event. Capital E-V-E-N-T, close bracket. Here's the open bracket for this function. Way down here is going to be the closed curly bracket that works with this open curly bracket. Every bracket, whether it's a curly bracket or regular bracket, that is an open, has to have eventually a closed bracket or curly bracket. Okay. If turns purple, open bracket, mouse clicked, that's that function, that's that variable we're, we're using. If open bracket most clicked close bracket and what that means is if it's true and we know up here that if I click the most this will be true that's what that's if this means is it true here's the open curly bracket for this if here's the close curly bracket for this if so they work together and in here we're going to say sub that's the movie clip for the submarine capital SUB underscore MC period y y should turn blue it's lowercase y minus equals 10 semicolon so if i click the mouse if i click the mouse the submarine's going to move up at a rate of 10 pixels beep, 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 each time okay there's the close curly bracket for this if and if you want oh excuse me then else, E-L-S-E, -E, else turns the same color as if. If I'm not pressing the button, this is going to take place. Open curly bracket, sub underscore MC, the same as this. You could just copy this if you want and paste it in. The only difference is now it's going to be plus equals. And with the flash, plus means to go down the, down the board on your Y axis up the board would be minus. So if I click, if I'm clicking it, most will be true, this most click will be true, and the submarine will go up this page. If I don't click it, that's the else, it will drop down the page. So my open curly bracket, my statement, and my closed curly bracket, and to see what's taking place, we're gonna do what's called a trace, T-R-A-C-E, open bracket, sub underscore mc period y close bracket semicolon we're going to trace the y axis of this i'm clicking here to straighten it out if there's any and clicking here and if there's any obvious errors it sometimes finds them for me so come up here control test movie test i have no errors and if i press it it goes up if i don't press it it goes down that's my sub going up and down and if we look over here, it's in increments of 10. So it started at position uh, 221.
Then it went up to 10, 10 more, 10 more, 10 more, 10 more. And eventually I actually pressed the button and it started to go back down. You can see here, somewhere there. At 401, I pressed the key and it started going back up in increments of 10. So I think that's enough for this tutorial. I don't want to make them too long. There's going to be a follow-up tutorial where we will do two, basically two things. We'll make it that the, instead of it moving at a rate of 10 pixels each time, we'll start it at five and, and change the rate. So like gravity accelerates. And also we'll put limits so it can't go off the page on the axis up here and it can't go down through the bottom of the page. So that follow-up tutorial will be Flash CS6 Tutorial 27 Submarine Game Part 2. So if you plan on doing the Part 2, make sure you save this tutorial. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope you use what you learn.